morning y'all. Right, we've got Alexis coming down today for his third, I think, is it tall? Third journey session. We're gonna try and nip out on the course, try and do similar to what we did with Guy, subject to how busy the course is, but that's where I want to take him. I wanna see exactly what he's doing with the information he's got on the course. He's had some success recently at uh, Alexis, which is great, but he's also been finding the changes quite hard, so I wanna see how much he's doing them or not on the course how it puts them into use from the different lies, all that kind of stuff. Really the stuff the journey has shown me and the students, I think. You know, that crucial kind of make it happen when you need to information, rather than just, you know, this is how you do it, good luck. That, that's the real overriding kind of thing I'm getting from this uh, journey series, which I'm loving doing. So question of the day today, uh, Phil Mickelson's issued an apology. So what's changed? Why the apology after the um, post-round interview, the tone has really changed. Why is that? Is he trying to be media smart? Trying to make sure he doesn't get backlash? Does he honestly feel like he has let himself down? Which I think he does. I think Phil's a cool guy. and kind of gets the world. But what do you think? Put his comments down below. Now the apology has come. Apologies are good, aren't they? That's only a good thing, surely. There's Alexis in the net warming up. We're going straight on the course. Let's see what he's doing out here. It's a nice day at Torquay. Just nipping in front of the ladies' comp. Should get a good few holes in. It's a great hit from Alexis there. He's got what club have you got? Seven iron, downhill lie. I mean, for me, downhill lie is always going to leap more right than left. He's just aimed kind of straight at the flag, the slightly right side. That's a, that's a gaming error. See, I love that. See it going up the left, cutting back. Left trap should always have been your play on that shot. Yeah. So left trap is the easier up and down than the right trap. Because you've got a tiny entrance. I'm not expecting you to hit that green with your handicap from 180, 170 out. Yeah. So I would be going, even me off this hole, first hole, I'm going left trap. And if I rip it at the left trap, I know I've got a chance of getting up and down. And if it does what it should do from a downhill eye, which is it for it to just feather to the right, I'll hit a great shot. I'm playing my odds. I, I, I would aim at the flag only in this situation on the 18th. I need to make a score and I've had a few downhill lie ones which I've held on to, I've not let them go and I'm just gonna rip it at it. Never on the first. You've learned on the way. Yeah. yeah. The space in front usually to gauge my distance. Yeah, so I reckon you've got about five yards short of that pin. It's one four one, so you've got to be landing it kind of like one three five yeah. up. I see your point about the eight. The problem is if I catch my eight really well, I'm behind. Yeah, so I'm gonna hit an easy eight so I can play with the distance. Yeah. You're doing more your distance, aren't you? Yeah. Again, I would say the wind's well, I don't know which way it is. Maybe it's off the right. Yeah, of, the I think it's the, into. On the buggy was no wind. Yeah, there is a bit more. It's wind. into. Look at the flag coming back at us. It's yeah. an eight, I think. But let's see where your nine goes. Let's get you know you're clubbing better than me because you're playing with it every day. <laughs> yeah, every day. Also, yeah. that kind of thing is yeah. my, wife, my wife watched the video. <laughs> <laughs> She's thinking you're at work at home every day. <laughs> And that'll work, but it's a clean strike in the bunker. Have you got another ball there? Let's hit it. Yeah, I like that as a very neat little hit, not your best. Carry or not? I think if I would have to catch it a bit cleaner, I would have I would have been there. Yeah. Yeah. So this is where I think, oh exactly, yeah. I think learning to play a control date rather than just hitting the yeah. number is a skill that you yeah, should start yeah. using or trying to practice Because my eight is 145, 150. Well you're relying on the perfect shot, which exactly. is fine, but I mean I don't do that that often. I'm playing yeah. to a 10, 15 yard gap, short and long, in my head, even yeah. though I want it to be within five. 
so my clubbing will reflect that if i if this was a nine for me i know i have to hit hard and perfect yeah, yeah, and yeah. i i might choose to do that but i'll often choose to hit more and just hit an easier shot it feels more comfortable i think usually my difficulty is that i know if i didn't make the full shot the full number i'm on it yeah but as soon as i start to try to feather it or something usually going to the right and if i smash it hard i you can quite go easily to the left too because yeah, yeah. I try to get four on the ball it doesn't really work lots of people at your standard like to hit full shot yeah yeah they it's don't it scares them feeling like they're hitting it but we'll do another if you get another ball i'll hit mine so i'm not saying this is any better but why don't you hit an eight you got two options. You can hit it with the speed you want to hit it at, but come down the grip an inch. Yeah. Or you can hold it at the top and take a tiny bit of speed off. And yeah. I mean a tiny bit. Hmm. I don't care which one, you choose. What are you going to go for? The ladder. Up the top and less speed. Yes, normal grip, just try to be a bit more flowy. Go on then. Because you got to remember, 150 probably still hits the green here at 141 yardage. Yeah. And an eight iron for you is 145 to 150, isn't it? So, pin at the front, chuck it on. Good. Is that over the bunker? Yeah. Oh, just caught it. So that actually formed the same as your nine. What you need to now do is you need to, when you practice, hit a group of nines full, hit a group of easy eights, and then you find out which one you're better at. Because I don't know yet, you should be testing that. Okay. So you're one four, what did you call it? One four five? One fifty two point two. One fifty two. So you're hitting eight? Yes. Okay. We are with wind on the back. Go for it. Ball below your feet or not? Slightly below. Slightly. So there's a good chance it might leak. Yeah. Happy with that? Left side of the green. Yeah. And try not to get to the right side bunker. Okay. I need very... to wake up, I've started up that now. That's fine, do you want to hit another? Yes, please. So that's a clean one and left. Yeah. So that was low heel, wasn't it? Yeah. I'm not in there yet. I need to get there. Come on, wake up, buddy. That's better. That's it's a really good shot. The only problem you've got there. Yep, yeah, it's a good hit, just a little bit left. Much better strike though. Yeah. That's a very tricky up and down now, yeah. where the contrast on this one, which I didn't want to preempt you, is the miss here is actually better being right. Because right. that pin is on the left. So you're now short side. So I personally would have aimed at the flag, knowing that the right hand trap to right hand side is actually not a bad miss compared to where you've missed now. Shall I try that? Uh, no, we can work it into the next yeah. shot. Because that was a good shot. You're just aiming left yeah, exactly. side. You've hit it like five I yards I was aiming left. exactly there, yeah. So again, apart from the first shot, which is a miss it, the second shot is a good shot that you would hit on a range and think, oh, I've hit a good shot yeah. there. But you've not managed the situation that cleverly. Correct. Right, let's try to hit the ground a bit and stop thinning everything. Yeah, a little bit of reaction to that fin is good. Yeah, That's great cool. shot. Much better strike, just a little cutty, isn't it? Yeah. That's what I wanted to do. So on this one, though, if you set up to, uh, we'll do a practice swing. Okay. If you go back swing and stop for me. So let's feel a little, just a fraction more of that okay. to try and deliver the face not so to the right. Okay, so more. So feel that flattening of the wrist, just a fraction. That's it, and keep it in there on the way down. Because you see what that's doing to the club foot? I just want it to see if we can get it not tailing quite so far to the right. Is 
So watch that turn. Look, you're not looking at it. Watch it. I don't care about your emotions of that. You've got to let them go. That's a miss hit. But the ball was trying to turn left yeah. because you did something in your wrist to try and stop it going to the right. Think of the situation. Let's say you don't want to miss on the right. Mm -hmm. Why would you not make a swing where you're just really feeling like you are using your wrist a bit more than on the other shots where you feel comfortable to just let it do what it does and aim up the left yeah. and cut it in? You need that as a weapon. Yeah, yeah. But, if, but, you can, but you, if you do the wrist angles, miss it and then just don't watch it, you're not going to learn from what you've done. Okay. So you've got to keep trying to apply a little bit more data to your shots and try and get rid of that emotion because yeah. the emotion just holds you back so much. Yeah. So we're just going to do a little bit of wedge work, Alexis. You're 95 yards out now. I want us to just ignore the reaction. So there is actually one shot Alexis should be playing here because of the slope, which is the pop it in the air. But we've got a bit of time on the course here. So I'm literally just looking at where the ball lands. I then don't care what happens when it kicks on because that's not the point of this exercise. So you've already said that you struggle with in-between shots for wedges a little bit. So we're 95 yards, that's a slope reading. What club would you use? Uh, gap wedge. Which is? 50 degrees. Okay. Because this one should cover the distance and go up enough to me to stop. That's okay. the reason why I take this one usually. Show me. And are you hitting this flat out? 95. I would say full shot, but not hard. Full yes, shot. but a fullish shot. Yeah, fullish, yeah. Okay. So let's watch it land. I only care landing for the 95 yards. So that's landed. Pretty nice to just pass. I would say a bit fast, yeah, but good. So pretty. So that's landed yeah. like 98 yards. Yes, that's, I'd say. that's pretty good. Yeah. Um, so let's do one now. Grab your pitching wedge. Okay. So pitching wedge. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, Not let's cheating. play an in, uh, uh, you know, like a three quarter one. Three quarter. Down the grip a fraction. Feel like you're standing a bit taller as well. Don't stand lower. Stand a little taller. That's it. Also, take a little bit of the wrist out, so feel like it's more of a, like a stiff action. You're trying to take speed off this. Rory. Yeah, like we were talking with Rory yesterday. Good. So let's see how good or bad you are. This is not a shot you would choose, is it? No. So let's see what you do with this. Now watch it for landing. That was good. Same shot. Exactly the same shot. Obviously, it's run on more because we've got less loft. So situation based. Yeah. Maybe into the wind. This is a good shot to it's have. A good shot in the wind. Because yeah. it might make the distance with the roll that you get afterwards. Um, rolling up slopes. So if up the green was yeah, running yeah, yeah, away yeah, from yeah. you here, this is a dangerous shot. Yeah. But if it's if you're going up a big tier, this might be a shot that you think actually the wedge is going to come in a bit. Like I might skip up there. Yeah. Now grab your 56. <laughs> 55. 50, 55. I don't so, have. A, I don't carry a 56. 55 like. is good. So Some now people, you wouldn't play this because it wouldn't reach in theory. Is that what you're saying? Uh, in this situation, actually, I would with this wind on the back lower like that. Yeah, but I we would want try. it landing that distance. But if I want to land that distance now, because it's going to pop up high and not go far enough. So I want you to play this one back in your stance, weight forwards, handle forwards, like you're trying to hit it low and hard. Okay. So like a punch about this hand away forwards weight forwards get your weight on the front foot alexis that's it and really hit down and through on this i feel Don't like you're anything. really gonna lever into the back of the ball and the ground lots of handle lean lots of weight forwards lots of speed watch it for landing that's on ah Pretty much the same distance, maybe a two yard shorter landing. But that's perfect, you stop much quicker. I, well, correct, out of this situation, if we actually play who wants to get closest, you need to stop it downhill, down, running away from your green. That shot for me is gonna be loaded with more yeah. spin than a flop up in the air, which I might use as well, never use the wedge, because it's gonna do what it did, run over the yeah. back. But you need all three of these. But if I put it back my stance and whack it hard like that, will I still generate the same amount of 
vertical angle and stop no it might not go quite as high yeah. but you might have a little bit more check so you'll go check. bounce yeah. and, and then you've got control of it yeah. so that's where you need to decide if you're going to use land angle as your stopping power or land angle with more spin yeah. one isn't right and wrong you need to be have all three because they all yeah. three have a place okay. i don't like you earlier saying we didn't get it on camera oh this is this yard i don't like this because i can't hit my, this club and yeah. I, this one's going to go too far we need to get rid of that mm. you need to be able to hit greens from this angle there's one other pattern to those shots have you spied what it is slightly right everything slightly right yeah. so you've got two options aim up the left a bit knowing that this shot tails to the right yeah. do what we did just back there when you practice this shot which i want you to do more one yardage three different clubs put some wrist angles in as well does it make it worse does it make it better if it makes it better use it if it makes it worse aim up the left yeah. practice it more until it feels better yep so the information i give you indoors it doesn't work if you apply it at the right and wrong or at the wrong times we need you to know when to apply it, how to apply it, how to work it into all of your game, rather than just think, right, this is the way I swing it always. Ryan Little. <laughs> there we go, guys. Thanks for watching. Great work from Alexis there. Again, interesting watching how he tries to put the information into practice out on the course. Again, it shows us how much it's about having good information, but then also when to apply it, when to ignore it, when to apply it more. They're skills that just definitely a lot of us and coaches are not working on enough. And it's so obvious when you get these uh, golfers out there, they're giving away a lot of cheap shots, which they can fix easily with some better decisions. Monday, I travel to America. We'll be daily vlogs all next week. Exciting times in America. And hopefully you enjoy the videos, going to some pretty cool places. Um, but I'm not sure when they're post time differences and traveling days and what have you. But I will see you all next week. Have a great weekend. Thanks all for watching. Yeah, that's good. You grounded your club there, Alexis. You've got a hobby of club in there. You're not allowed to touch the sand. Your club is touching the sand on the takeaway. Yeah, address. That I don't care, but as in if you play in a comp, that's you're not allowed to do that. Very good shot though. Really good. Down, speed, pop it out.